official. This is Global People Daily News. Welcome to our GPTM virtual program, One of the World Through Nursery Rhymes. Speaking of nursery rhymes, do you know what is the most translated nursery rhyme in the world? Happy Birthday to You has been translated into over 100 languages and is the most commonly sung to celebrate someone's birthday. Oh, I see. Let's sing it together. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jolly Sandy Cry Low. Juni Sandy Cry The Happy Birthday song, as well as other nursery rhymes, can boost the well being of children and aid their development and learning. Today, we've invited many speakers from different backgrounds and countries to share their thoughts on the importance of nursery rhymes. First, let's welcome Yvonne, who is the Director of Music Education Institution of Taiwan, to share with us the benefits of nursery rhymes for children.儿歌对于孩子的帮助从小妈妈就很喜欢唱歌给我们听的耳朵、音乐的能力as Yvonne mentioned, nursery rhyme is a powerful tool for children to gain self-confidence and communication skills. Even a catchy rhythm can be enough to spark creativity in children's hearts. We hope the innocence of nursery rhymes can lighten up your day. As nursery rhymes can be special, even if it's made up on the spot. We welcome two Dutch sisters from the Netherlands to sing a piece of the Dutch Christmas song. Ines will also be singing an improvised arrangement from when she was little. Let's welcome Ines and Sophia. Thank you for your performance, Dennis and Sophia. Your improvised performance was very impressive. After watching the children's creation, would you like to create your own nursery rhyme of your own? 
fact, when I was in kindergarten, I created a song by myself. Though I forgot the content of the song, I still remember that I was enjoying it while singing, which is the magical ability of nursery rhymes. Next, a grandpa, Frank, led his wife, daughter, and granddaughter to compose a Taiwanese nursery rhyme about pineapples. Let's enjoy it.小时候啊，很喜欢吃凤梨，尤其是凤梨心脆脆酸酸甜甜的。我常竖起耳朵等候，骑脚踏车小贩的叫卖声。买了当零食来吃，大人们到寺庙拜拜的供桌上，常常有
I am going to present a British nursery rhyme called The Grand Old Duke of York, which I learned from my wife, who grew up in a British colony. In just a moment, she will help me to perform our arrangement of this nursery song. This little song, The Grand Old Duke of York, may have been around for more than 400 years. I hope that it will help the children of today to see how utterly silly it is to have hereditary monarchs and aristocrats anywhere in the world. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched there up to the top of the hill, then he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Okay. Thank you, Danielle, for sharing this song with us. Sometimes children's song can reflect the background of an era and often feature nonsensical or humorous lyrics. That's true. So come on, tell me what is the oldest children's song in the world, please? So the oldest children's song in the world is difficult to determine as many traditional songs have been passed down through generations without being written down. However, the oldest children's song of which we have records are lullabies, which can be found in every human culture. Oh! Do you know what is the difference between a lullaby and a nursery rhyme? A lullaby is a soothing song that is typically sung to a baby or young child to help them fall asleep. Many musicians specialize in creating these songs to help soothe and benefit people around the world. We invite Ivan Riccardi, a Mexican musician, to dive deeper on the creation of lullabies. He will be performing a snippet of his lullaby compositions. Wake up! 
Spanish class. Teacher Jose and a Cadarian teacher is going to teach her the Spanish alphabet song. Come on, let's sit still and concentrate. Hola, ¿qué tal? Gente de Global Daily News, mi nombre es Jorge López, soy de Ecuador. Es un país muy bonito en Sudamérica. Trabajo como profesor de español algunos días y como cocinero la mayor parte de la semana. Bueno, me gustaría hablarles de mi canción infantil favorita. La escuché por primera vez a los 10 años. La canción se llama ABC. Esta canción me gusta porque en su letra transmite palabras muy sencillas pero muy bonitas a la vez. Hay palabras como amistad, como cariño, inteligencia. Así que vamos a analizar la letra de esta canción. El abecedario cantando vamos a aprender El abecedario con Yuli vas a conocer El abecedario cantando vamos a aprender okay, eh, Estas tres líneas invitan a los niños a a cantar, a aprender cantando, a conocer y desde la cuarta línea empieza la letra de cada letra del abecedario A, B, C, T y empieza El abecedario con mi mano te diré A de amistad, B de bondad C de cariño, D de dulzura, E de ejemplo, F de felicidad, G de gracias, H de hermandad, I de inteligencia, J de jugar, K de koala, L de libre y M de mamá, N de niñez, Ñ de ñandú, O de oración, P de pureza, Q de quererse, R de risas, S de sinceridad, T de tierra, U de universo, B de violín, B doble de Willy, X de xilófono, Y de Yuli, Z de zoológico. Bueno, entonces disculpen, la voz no es la mejor, pero quería que sepan cómo era la melodía, cómo eh, suena la canción. Y como vemos, tiene muchas palabras muy, muy bonitas, con un significado muy bonito como amistad, como bondad. Sí, creo que nos invita a los niños a que seamos bondadosos, cariñosos, que hagamos buenas amistades, habla también de dulzura, sí, eh, hay que ser muy dulce para tratar a las personas, eh, de ejemplo, entonces eh, hay unas palabras importantes que considero como por ejemplo la felicidad, que es muy importante la inteligencia, hermandad, debemos ser hermanos, habla de ser libre, libre de prejuicios, libre de opresiones, libre de cualquier cosa que nos haga ser infelices, habla también de mamá, ¿sí? habla de, de oración, de rezar al el ser supremo en el que cada uno crea, habla de pureza, ser una persona original, genuina, habla de quererse, eso es importante, amarse, eh, querer a los demás, respetar, ayudar, 
darles una sonrisa, darles una, una palabra de aliento, sinceridad, hay que ser sincero en la vida, no, no mentir, tratar de, aunque es difícil siempre ser sincero, pero nos invita a hacerlo, habla de nuestro planeta, la tierra, habla de, del universo, y por eso es una canción que me gusta mucho, así que espero que hayan escogido una de estas palabras en este abecedario en español y la puedan guardar para hacer de este mundo un lugar mejor. Muchas gracias por escucharme y que tengan un bonito día. Hasta luego. Chao. Thank you, teacher Jose. Now I know the Spanish alphabet. Oh, that's amazing. As you can see, a nursery rhyme is often used to teach young children basic concepts such as counting, the alphabet, or basic rhyming patterns. Next, we invite Preeti Patella to share her favorite and most memorable nursery rhyme. Namaskar, I'm Preeti Futela, mother to two grown-up children, a senior wing leader by profession at Ramdat Bluebells Public School. You have taken me back to my yesteryears when you are talking about the nursery rhymes, rhymes which I used to recite for my children when they Uh, when I was supposed to make them eat something, when I wanted to, uh, them to go to bed. So, uh, some rhymes are very dear to me, which I really hum still to myself, to my children. Ek choti keshti mere paas Nai ban bhai, nai rang bhai or pani me duba. How beautiful when I was teaching the concept of colors to my daughter. And I remember one more song very well, uh, again in my native language, when I had to make my little one go to bed. Guriya ko pyaar se mein god mein sulaungi Jab meri guriya ko bhuk lagegi Jab meri guriya ko bhuk lagegi Barfi meethai choti barfi ban karaungi Laddu meethai Choti barfi ban karaungi Guriya ko god me me pyaar se sulaungi Jab meri guriya ko pyaas lagegi Kampa orange choti fanta ban karaungi Kampa orange choti limka ban karaungi How sweet these memories are that I really very fondly remember them. With these rhymes, I am reminded of my childhood as well. When we used to learn at my school, the counting, uh, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, knock the door, five, six, lay the sticks, seven, eight, open the gate, nine, ten, a big fat ten. So happy to be talking to all of you. You've reminded me not only of my yesteryears, but also my own children's yesteryears. So happy and proud to be a girl who has been brought up in this um, environment where we, uh, our mothers, our uh, nuns at school used to sing for us, teach us through singing and it is not now that we talk about that learning, uh, not just by lectures, it is also learning 
that can happen through playways and i have been brought up that way and i am sure i am going to do that for my children at home i have been doing and the children at school that too i have been doing thank you and have a nice day thank you for sharing i believe nursery rhymes not only entertain us but also provide us with extra knowledge as preeti patel said nursery rhymes are matter of our childhood what's your most unforgettable or favorite nursery rhyme my favorite nursery rhymes include Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Humpty Dumpty, because they're very well-known classics. Oh, I see. What about you? When I was a child, my dad always sang a Taiwanese song to me. This is unforgettable because it includes his best wishes to me. As we reach the end of our program today, June, a music teacher who has been teaching children's music for over 24 years, will take us around the world with nursery rhymes. Take it away, June. Hello, everyone. I'm June. I'm a children's music education. I have been teaching for 24 years. I really enjoy your music. And sing with children. 宝宝睡，快快睡，我最亲爱的宝贝。从有宝贝开始，我每天晚上都会唱这首歌，陪他们入睡。这样的曲子可以让孩子有安定的感觉。点妈卡，点着卡，叫阿爸袂滴卡，滴卡可困暖暖，要归囡仔流水暖。哇哈哈！在台湾长大的孩子几乎都会哼上这一两句。点妈卡的作者创作灵感是因为看到学校外面有人正在铺柏油路。怕孩子不小心踩到而产生的创作，而对我来说，这个曲子也有很多的温暖和怀念的情感，因为这是小时候爷爷抱着我最爱唱的一首歌。每当听到这首儿歌，心里就会觉得暖暖的。儿歌的歌词简单容易，学习传唱，在幼儿的口语发展。能够有很多的帮助，也是一个与人互动很好的媒介。一根手指头变成毛毛虫，两根手指头变成小兔子，三根手指头变成小猫咪，四根手指头变成小蝴蝶，五根手指头跟我拍拍手。当我在教唱这首歌曲的时候，其实我们是和孩子在练习数数，也训练他们的手指协调能力。这样子的游戏可以让孩子更容易去训练到手指头的操作，也认识自己的手指头。世界地球村，每个国家都有属于自己的独特音乐风格和他们的儿歌。传唱不同的国家的儿歌，就像是环游世界一般，透过儿谣了解他们的故事、风情，是一件很有趣的事哦。接下来，我就用钢琴和大家分享几首风格明显的各国儿童歌曲。很热情的歌曲吧，这首曲子是西班牙庆典歌曲。
就像西班牙斗牛士般，热情洋溢。是不是一首很美丽的歌曲呢？这是西印度的民谣，名字叫做《知更鸟》。活泼轻快的音乐是香格里拉，这是墨西哥的舞曲。透过世界不同的风格的儿童音乐，是不是也让您感受到不同的音乐风情呢？很高兴今天和大家一起分享，我们下次再见。Wow, it was so much fun to wander the world through nursery rhymes. Did you have fun with us today? If you like this video, please like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is Global People Daily News. See you next time. Bye.